Hey gang, thanks for hanging with me today. Today I'm going to show you how to clean a weed eater carburetor. These kind of carburetors are on a lot of different machines such as small tillers, weed eaters, leaf blowers. So if you have any kind of those machines, this video will help you. So go ahead and make sure you have some gloves on to protect you from gas, some eye protection, and that you're in a well-ventilated area. You're going to want to grab an impact gun with a Phillips screw uh, tip on the end, and then you dive right into it. So right here, there's four screws. Go ahead and take those out. I found that the best way to not strip these out is to use an impact gun. So hold it tight like this, bring that off. Have something that'll be able to catch that gas that comes out of here. And just go ahead and lift that straight up and off. Like that. Go ahead and set it to the side on a clean rag. Go ahead and take this this piece off. You're going to set that aside. This whole thing comes apart like this, okay? <clears throat> now, we're going to take this off, but you got to be very, very careful. So, grab a small screwdriver. Of course, I don't see mine. This one will work. Do not want to damage this in any way. Go ahead and kind of pick that up. Sometimes you can get under it with your fingernail. Where are my screwdrivers? <laughs> if you're like me, your tools are spread everywhere it's easier to throw it back on the bench than to put it away, right? That's what I tell myself. Okay. Hopefully yours will come off a little easier. If it doesn't come up on that side, go ahead and try a different side. Okay, there. I got it off this side. Now, you want to be very careful. Don't just pull this off because sometimes this is stuck. So you want to just very carefully... Work your way around it. Do you do not want to rip this diaphragm? Slowly, slowly work around till it just slowly comes loose. Be very careful. You do not want to damage this. Okay. Just take your time. Go ahead and set that to the side. Then flip to the other side. And kind of just start working this one off too. Again, these are these get very, very fragile. And they get stuck because they've been hooked together for so long. You do not want to rip this. Okay, perfect. Get it off, set it to the side. Yours should look like this. That's wonderful. This piece right here, you want to be careful. That sometimes comes out. It's a little filter, so keep your eye on that. If it's not coming out, don't uh, obviously try to pull it out. Just kind of leave that there right now. Go ahead and take a look at this. Awesome, awesome. <clears throat> so once you have yours disassembled like this, then we're ready to move on to the next step. Go ahead and go and grab either a small basin like this. Like a little pot that you can use or a little bowl that you can put carburetor cleaner or gasoline in or if you have carburetor cleaner in a little spray can you're going to want that go ahead and grab that and then i'm going to go grab mine be right back all right i got my carburetor cleaner here if you guys don't have carburetor cleaner you can throw gasoline inside of your your uh, bucket here like i have <clears throat> if you have carburetor cleaner it's the best what you're going to want to do is you want to spray your carburetor with this stuff. Again, make sure you're wearing gloves and eye protection in a well-ventilated area. Go ahead and spray out all the ports that you see. All these little ports that gas is going to be traveling through. Make sure you're spraying that out with carburetor cleaner. It's good to have carburetor cleaner in a can just because it does uh, spray out and hopefully push out some any of that gunk that gets stuck in your carburetor. Go ahead and spray through there. Make sure it's your lines are cleaned out. All 
Uh, another thing you want to do, make sure that this piece right here is moving up and down. Just grab something, kind of move it up and down. Because that is your, see how mine moves up and down? Make sure yours is moving up and down. If it does not, make sure you get it real good with carburetor cleaner. Get that loosened up because that's what's uh, that's your needle and seat letting the gas come into your carburetor. Make sure that's working great. Okay, go ahead and set this one to the side. Then grab this one. Then we're going to spray it out as well. Spray out all these little ports. And... Another thing we want to do is we're going to take this top piece off right here. It's two, two screws right here. This one you got to kind of hold forward. Um, you definitely want to, yeah, you're going to hold it forward just a little bit. Oh, that one comes actually this way. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Remember where this was. Whoops. Take a picture of that and then go ahead and back this screw out a little bit. So we're gonna need that screw out so we can get to this one. Okay, just like so. And then this should come straight out. Bring it straight up. Sorry, I'm not in the camera. I bring it straight up. Looks like I don't have my screws out as far as I should. Kind of wiggle it up. There's a jet right there. If you look inside here, there is some nasty stuff inside this one. See inside there. So you're going to want to spray that out. Get that out of your carburetor. Because that could definitely be the problem that is clogging your carburetor. This could be why it's not starting. This one has a lot of nasty business in it. Go ahead and spray up in here. Clean that out all nice, like, okay. Okay, then go ahead and grab this guy. And spray it out. Okay, once you got it really clean, go ahead and put this guy back on. Just kind of fits back on the way it came off. Like so. Go ahead and tighten this down. Just snug. Best to run it in, but then don't get it super tight with this. And then grab just on your hand screwdriver and tighten it up with the, with the, your hand screwdriver. Oops, there we go. You just want them snug. These ones can strip out super easy, so you just want it snug. And then take this guy back to where it was. Mine was about right there. Excuse me, it's back just a hair. If you took that picture on yours, it's great to use right now. Okay, next thing you want to do is grab your air compressor. Excuse me, I forgot this piece. This piece you're going to want to spray out the same way. Spray it out over here. Clean it up real good. Okay, cool. Grab your air compressor with an air hose, like so. And you're just going to want to spray off your carburetor. On the very back where that filter is, put your finger over it. You don't want that to fly away. I'm just going to spray. Clean off this carburetor the best you can. we are cleaning out and then go ahead and set that part aside we're going to if you don't have an air compressor you can just dry it off with a towel obviously you're not getting the benefit of the cleaning with the air but that's done go ahead and move your basin bring your parts here like this all right go ahead and grab your 
gaskets. Okay, this metal piece goes down like so. Put it on those pins at the end. Send it down like that. Beautiful. And then this guy goes on the other side like that. Okay. <clears throat> this guy goes like this. Okay, bring it over here. Make sure your gasket is in place. Make sure it all lines up. These have pins on how to line them up. Make sure your pins line up. Let me show you that again. See these pins right here? They go in these guide holes right here. Line them up like that. Hold it like that. Okay, then get your bubble here. Oops. Send it back down. Sometimes you'll have the one screw that doesn't want to do it. It's okay. Come on. Okay. Okay. Like so. Hold it all together. And then go ahead and bring these screws in just so that they don't take them all the way in at the first time. Just want to make sure they grab and they're not stripping. Just take them in close. And like I said, with those other screws, we're going to finish them out with um, our hands. Where did that go? Tell you what, if I had a dollar for every time I lost a tool. Okay, you're just going to tighten them up. Snug, just snug. I have to go across pattern like that. Snug. Snug. I always check them twice just to make sure they're nice and snug, like so. Perfect. That is how you clean a small carburetor like this. Go ahead and put it back on your machine and your machine will hopefully run like a dream. I just like to throw this out there. Sometimes these carburetors are very hard to clean. Sometimes the cleaning, you need to clean them twice. Um, if you've cleaned it twice and it's still not running good, I recommend just going online. You can get a brand new carburetor on Amazon. Look up your make model. Look at the pictures on there. Make sure they look just like yours and just order it. But hopefully after cleaning it, like I showed you, your machine will run great and you won't have any problems. Go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. You guys have a great day.